That's not normal. Call now. So first up, phantoms. From January 28th. All right. 128 1999 1124 a.m. Dr. Evans returns. I swear, if it's just a fucking blob. <laughs> Interesting uh, recreation with 99 and graphics. Now a word from the president. Official audio record. Got the miners long. I'm fine. Dude, he's coughing while he has a respirator on. That's not good. Could be a cold. I mean, it is January. <laughs> Flu season and all. This is it, right here. I want this area marked. Just for sample collection. Retrieval team. This man's about to get chest bursted. This here is AZ001 chunk. Yeah. Field photo at Dr. Evans examining the chunk. He looks like he's seen better days. That's my ex-wife. <laughs> Twelve seventeen. Evans returns to the psychological contamination lab at Home HQ. Ah uh, yes, Home HQ, the brilliant cube. Scenario oh, no, recreation. Doctor Evans is red. Doctor O'Connor is blue. Here, Evans goes to placing the retrieve samples of AZ001 into the sample room. Okay. Now he's going into the supply closet. Alright. He's a container to refill with water cooler, believed to have taken longer than normal to obtain. Oh, really? Refills the water cooler, dispenses at least two cups of water. Dialogue between Evans and O'Connor. Hey, I brought you some water. Thought you might have wanted a cup. Ooh, I like how they're Welcome using, uh, the I think that's Blender. Does give off that. Evans returns to his desk behind O'Connor. No further interactions. Okay, why was there a need for this surveillance footage, I wonder? Evans begins to display unusual behavior. Caught on camera. Probably why he was coughing. Oh. Yeah, he's gyrating. That's not normal. I think he was diseased. 37. Evans departs to another part of the home HQ facility. He visits storage room 3B for unknown reasons. Wait, who are you? 
says Evans. Home HQ is put under lockdown following gunshots in the building. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, man! He was taken by something. Target terminated. Man, that's what happens when the Mexican doesn't sit right. Body is brought to Central Morgue for post-mortem autopsy. And it looks like a fucking cross! Okay. Scans of his brain and his lungs. Yeah, that's why he was coughing. He'd already been infected by something. Report conclusions. I believe in a previous video they call it Star Kill, this disease. Evans' death is ruled as an assassination by a third party, though much remains unknown at the time. O'Connor has apparently disappeared following the incident, as he has been unable to reach for comment. Although we have a good idea. A follow up investigation follow that found that one of the vials of AZ 001 was missing. He ate it. Like, oh yeah, this would be a good replacement for my drugs. Now for a bulletin. I want you to look around for a certain name. Here's some public access cable seven program schedule for set for this following week of Saturday, January 26th. Lone Pine Midwest Church will be inviting you to their weekly service on Sunday, January 31st from 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. will also be televised on this channel. The Lone Pine Midwest Church would like to extend our gratitude to the following individuals for volunteering to assist in this weekend's service. Dr. Ray O'Connor's name is there. Ray O'Connor. So he basically went to the church and he is infected. A.K.A. why this is Midwest Angelica. Want to know what happened at that church? Let's see. Well, it's going to be a little late, but here's some footage. Property of the Lone Pine Police Department from February 20th, oh, 1999. It's in Nebraska. Following record contains accounts of the activities of Officer Sam Page and Andrew Webster from February 11th to the 12th. I wonder if this guy's related. On the 12th, both officers will be killed in the line of duty. Video evidence and testimony are compiled for ease of access and determining the cause of death. 208-1999, a missing person's uh, BSA airs. Why doesn't he come? I mean, else out. We're watching Stop some it good out. TV. And then, missing, John Carlisle. Also missing, Aaron Mathis. Also missing, David Rohde. Hmm. Missing, Sarah Withrow. That's a creepy picture. The missing persons have yet to be located. People went missing. 9.35 p.m. on the 11th. Lone Pine Police Department Dispatch Center receives a 911 call from an unknown caller ID. 911, please state your emergency. I'm at 876 Pine Lane in Lone Pine, right next to the church. And now, I can't really say for certain, but there's some, some kind of sacrifice going on. Okay, we'll be right there. Could you elaborate, please? Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a human sacrifice. I hear screams. It, it seems to be like a pagan ritual or something of the sort. Okay, just hold tight. We'll be right there. Please stay on the line. They'll break into his house. Audio cuts. Sam Page and Officer interrupts her. Soon go to the Lone Pine church. Following photographs and video have been recovered from the officer's vehicle in an unknown source. Mysterious. 
Here we are at this crickety old, old fucking church building. Here we are inside of the church. Following photo as we're taken by Officer Webster. A gift of the blood of an angel. Phantom in its appearance. But insides Inside churn, churn with, with flesh and blood of the stars. Ew. The blessed walk in silence. Blissfully closer to his sacred realm. Ascended beyond mortals. We have become apostles of Azazel. Azazel, okay. Altar. An offering of souls to the body of the fallen. Reconstruction of God's realm. Infinite in its cycle of life. Death but a moment of passing time. Huh. He is infinity incarnate. Okay. This is the last known appearance of Officer Sam Page. Yeah, he's just standing there. Menacingly! Body has yet to be recovered. Investigation ongoing. Webster continues outside to search for the source of the disturbance. You go get it, Webster. Get that bag. Earn your paycheck. Have to pay me overtime after this shit. Oh, fuck. Well, you don't see that every day. The following photographs were taken of the object in the center. And boy, is it uh, very, very strange and graphic. An AI generated, maybe. I'm kidding. I don't know. And in the oh, pile of the bodies, one person is semi-alert, awake. Webster begins to show distress as he suspects someone is following him. Someone probably is following him. Hello. Man, after seeing something like that, I'd have my gun drawn. He is clearly in danger. Oh, uh, you have no idea how much his danger he currently is right now. I mean, he probably is being followed. Let's see if the heat's about to pick up. just got caught and killed evidently it attacked him super quick he barely even had time to let out a scream the man seen in the footage has yet to be identified that is very clearly not a man he's standing above the tree line the body of Officer Andrew Webster was found blank. The cause of death remains unknown. 
Shortly after the incident, unmarked military personnel retrieved the body along with much of the footage recorded. A CIA operative named Robert Spencer has assumed command of the surrounding area and has threatened the Long Pine Police Department to remain quiet regarding these incidents. Cover up! As always. When something that bad's happening, you cannot have the public just... It, it can't be open public knowledge, despite what everybody might want. Problem is, if entities like this want to live in secrecy, if there is fundamental knowledge that they're found out, they could go ballistic. Also, thanks to me liking Helltaker, I remember what Azazel is pretty much is. They're essentially a little bit of a scapegoat of a demon. In some mythologies, uh... Azazel is uh, the scapegoat that was sent to bear the sins of the Jewish people. In Helltaker's uh, universe, Azazel was supposed to be an angel and got curious, pretty much started wandering around in hell, and the, uh, the, and the DLC of uh, Exam Taker, she basically becomes a demon herself. Huh. Well, that's definitely something. So yeah, we are dealing with a demon-ish. And now for the stages of being infected with this uh star kill thing this is pretty much the last of this uh home group observe stages of star kill infestation sustenance hunt The star kill begins to absorb most available biomass to sustain itself for all subsequent stages. Intelligence accumulation. It searches for and targets the most intelligent species available for simulation. So basically us. Or the scientists in this case. self fabrication It's able to form enough biomass to manufacture novel entities from itself using biomass structural hubs. Hmm. These hubs include altars, which produce smaller star kill lifeforms, and temples, producing larger lifeforms. A fourth stage has been hypothesized based on critical mass calculations. It is unknown what will occur once the star kill network reaches critical mass. Oh, and we have a network. And the network's predicted to grow to the full size within a year based on current available data. Oh no. We are fucked. They have no clue what might happen if that reaches critical mass. And God knows, it'll probably go beyond the United States. But like many alien movies, it's First always us. They said the altars can re produce other replicants. Yeah. So that structure he stumbled upon, the reason he felt like he was being followed after he happened upon it, is because it spawned an alternate. Think of it like a Minecraft spawner, right? Mm hmm This thing literally reproduces itself. So it produces other star kill. So what attacked him was a star kill. A star kill entity. So this thing is like kind of a way for the star kill to reproduce itself. Meaning, once an altar is established, star kills just start coming out of it. And there's no reason. Actually, there is a reason why we are unable to identify the uh, the person who attacked our remaining officer. Because it is the star kill and it's not of a recognizable human being. It was standing above the tree line. Of course, it's not a recognizable human being. I oh, yes, we're trying to find this fucking 17-foot man. Stick out like a sore thumb, you'd think. Or maybe that was like some high bush area, like fucking some wild grass or some shit. Maybe. It looked like he was looking towards the sky, though. All right. That takes care of Midwest Angelica. So that's the last one so far. For Midwest Angelica, yeah. Huh. Until another post happens.